Hi, it's Kathy here from Tweak Town. I'm here we're at Thermal Tech booth at the Nangang Hall. R Ramson is going to tell us a little bit about their new cooler range. Well, we have a new cooler. Uh, this cooler is based on a Frio technology. And uh, instead of Frio, it's basically focused on performance. And now we also focus performance and quiet. So we have a silent cooler. Re we actually redesigned a fan uh, and a mounting bracket and all the accessory box. Are. In traditional, you have a lot of mounting bracket for a universal cooler. And most thermal tech cooler, we make it universal and we cut down the brackets and then we give you a box so you can keep it in case something change or you want to switch around cooler, you can switch it easily. Is there any particular reason why all the fans are green? Well, you know what, we target green as is, uh, noise is also part of the environment. If you want it quiet, you want to make it green. So this is the reason why we put green. And how does Thermal Tech try and uh, achieve this uh, more silent kind of cooler? Well, we have our engineer redesign the fan blades and uh, the fan rotation. So it increases the airflow and decreases the noise level. Okay, so the uh, the actual part is uh, the, the fan actually will inc uh, decrease actually the noise. The fan, and both fan actually runs at different CFM. So one in and one out, we have to balance it because uh, we have some barrier in the middle. So we cut the noise out by uh, changing the variation of the fan. So what's the um, the noise level of this fan? Well, right Running now at full is, uh, capacity. Is uh, the maximum is 16 dBA? 16. 16. Pretty silent. Okay. And plus it's adjustable. If you want a high speed, you can go on high speed. If you want a low speed, you just adjust by yourself. So is it adjustable with a, a controller? Well, there's actually a controller um, uh, right here. It's a little dongle. Oh, OK. So it's internal. Uh, we know that not a lot of people want to like adjust the fan on and off, on and off. So you preset the level you want to be. And of course, some overclockers, you clock it and then you just set it right there. You, you won't turn it up. Either you turn to the max or the minimum. And is this one the, the top of the range one? The, this is the top of the range. So is it available on the market at the moment? Uh, we're looking about in two months, it will be going wild in the market. Okay. And uh, what would the user be expected to pay for something like this? Well, we target at $50. $50? $50. Okay. Thank you very much.